Welcome back guys. In this lesson we talk about using of in a sentence. Let's continue with me. Of is mainly used as a possessive. For example, we have two examples. He's a friend of mine. The color of the house is red. Okay, it's important to remember that it's more common to use the possessive as or the possessive adjective in English than to use of. Even if of is grammatically correct, the sentences above would generally be in this form. We have two examples. He's my friend as possessive. The house's color is red. As possessive okay and then we have common phrases with of of is also commonly used with all and both okay with all and both to describe a common trait that many objectives share for example is all of the students in the class enjoy Volleyball. Both of the assignments are due at the end of the week. Okay, we have two examples. We use all in the start sentence. And then we use both in the start sentence. It's about common phrases with of. Okay. Common phrases with of. Another common phrases with of is one of the superlative form plus plural noun plus singular verb. This phrase is commonly used to focus on a specific object that stands out from a group notic. That also the plural noun is used the singular phrase. Okay. Take is the singular conjugation of the verb. Notice that also the plural noun is used in the singular phrase takes the singular conjugation of the verb. And then we have two examples. One of the most interesting things about my job is the people I meet. We use of. Okay. One of the most difficult subjects for me is math. And then we have using from in a sentence. Let's continue with me. From is generally used to express that something originates from something else, that something comes from somewhere or some person originates from something else, that something comes from somewhere or some person for examples. Okay, Jack comes from Portland. This formula derives from the work of Peter. This pearl comes from the South Pacific. And then we have common phrases with from. Let's continue. From can also be used with the prepositions to and until to mark the beginning and ending point of time of an action or state. Generally, from to, okay, is used with past tenses. While from until is used when speaking about future actions. However, from to can be used in most situations speaking about future actions however from to can be used in most situations okay we have some examples i play tennis from two to four in the afternoon yesterday from two to i play tennis from two to four in the afternoon yesterday it's about what past tennis we are meeting in Chicago from Monday until Thursday. Okay, we use from until. We use it. Understanding the difference between of and from can be tricky at first for ESL students, but like all commonly confused words, the difference between them becomes more clear the more they are used. It's all about using of in a sentence, using from in a sentence, and common phrases with of, and common phrases with from. I hope this lesson will be helpful for you guys. Thank you.